Hey y'all, welcome to Black Mamas Do Science. If you're looking for a way to impress your kids with this really cool science experiment, then come with us. Today, we will be combining a little bit of art with a little bit of science, and we will be making a paper circuit art. So, get ready. The materials you'll need for our experiment today are cardstock, you'll also need copper tape, then you will need a three volt cell battery, you will need five millimeter LED lights, and then also clear tape. Also, don't forget your scissors, you'll definitely need that for this experiment. All right, y'all, we strongly encourage parental supervision during the science experiment because it involves cell batteries. I just wanna make sure everybody is aware. Keep a close eye on your kids with this science experiment. All right, y'all, once you have your materials, you can go ahead and sit down. What Dax and I did was we drew an outline of the shape, which was a square, uh, of the way that we wanted our copper tape to show up on our cardstock but you don't need to do that, that is totally an option. What we did was we went ahead and laid our copper tape three sides of our square because you're gonna leave one side open. So what you will do is you need to leave a tiny gap in one of the sides of the square and you can use your scissors as you need to and you just need to make sure that three corners of your square are touching. So the copper tape needs to touch, you know, each side. So the open side of your square, what you will do is you will leave a piece, uh, you will place your three volt battery, the negative side down, and then you will use a piece of copper tape on top of the positive side and connect it to your square. So what we did was we left a little space and you'll see there it'll look like two parallel lines in between. And in those two parallel lines, you will place your LED light. Now this is the cool part. When you place your LED light, your light should turn on. Now, if it doesn't, don't worry. You can try putting your LED light the other way and see if that works. If that doesn't work, these are the three things you need to make sure are correct with your circuit. Make sure that the three sides are all connected to copper tape, so you don't wanna have any open sides open. It will not allow for a closed circuit. Then you need to make sure that the negative side of your battery is touching the copper tape on one side, and then the positive side also has copper tape on the top of it, and that is also connected. If that is not connected, it will not work. And then what we noticed also is that even though it's touch touching your LED light, you need to make sure that you press down a little bit and sometimes that will turn it on. So if you're like flipping the paper a little bit, you'll notice it'll turn on and off. That's pretty cool too. So just make sure that you press down on your LED lights um, to make sure that it is touching the copper tape very well. You can also secure it with a piece of clear tape just to make sure that it doesn't move around a lot. You'll notice the shape that we put our design in and this is the shape that you wanna mimic to make sure that you have a closed circuit so that your light turns on for your experiment. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and get into the science behind it. Hey, if it's your first time here with Black Mamas Do Science, we're so excited that you're here. And even if it's not, we're still excited that you're here learning and doing science experiments with us. Make sure that you share and like below so that somebody else, another mama, can get excited about science with their kids. All right, y'all, so this is the science behind our paper circuit art. So I bet you're wondering why this work, why the copper tape cell battery, how did we get our light to turn on? Basically, the way that this works is electrons are flowing from the negative end of our battery around the entire closed circuit that we created with our copper tape. And when the circuit is closed, which means everything is connected like it's supposed to be, 
the LED light turns on. However, if there is any gap or you've left it open in any place, it will not turn on, which is why I always tell you to make sure that you are connecting each side of the square and the battery, everything is touching it so that it is a closed circuit. If it's open, your light will not turn on. So listen, Dax and I had to try this a bunch of times, so if it didn't work for you the first time, just go ahead, flip over the cardstock, try it again, and make sure that your circuit is closed and your light should turn on. All right, y'all, well, we hope you enjoyed our science experiment today and you got your light to turn on. Let us know down in the comments if you got your light to turn on and we hope to see you next time. Bye, y'all.